We have continuing coverage now on efforts to clear Santa Cruz City beaches of hypodermic needles. The city has put a number of safety measures in place, but some say there's a lot more work to be done. Action News reporter Phil Gomez has more tonight. He's live in Santa Cruz right now. Well, that's right, Dan. Safety measures are already in place to prevent drug use on Cal Beach. Other precautions include extra lighting, closing the beach at night, and cleaning up efforts. There are more plans for safety improvements in the near future as well. During the summer, a sifting machine combs through the sand, picking up garbage, seaweed, and discarded needles. The city employee begins early in the morning before the junior lifeguard program kicks off. Activists believe there are some flaws by using the sand sifting machine. For example, it just can't get close enough to the buildings. What we figured out is that the sifting machine goes through there, but the actual grates on it can't get up close on the sides of the beach, and that's where a lot of the drug use is going on. And Last month, Johnny Font stepped on a syringe while at Cowell Beach. He went through the health protocol. Now he's involved with Take Back Santa Cruz to make sure beachgoers don't have the same experience he did. We're uh, making sure uh, that we have the nighttime patrols, maybe adding one more night patrol. Uh, we are uh, proposing to light the seawall up along the base of the Dream Inn, and we are taking steps to uh, actually hand sift the uh, sand in the target zone, what I call the target zone, along the seawall all around the perimeter of the beach. The city has plans to purchase a new sand sifting machine next year that will allow them to get much closer to those hard to get spaces. So we're looking for different types of equipment that's out there. We've heard of some and we're doing a little bit of research to see if we can find the best stuff, best equipment to get into those areas. The sifting usually takes place just before the junior lifeguards take to Cal Beach. Most parents believe their children aren't in any danger. And the uh, instructors are, you know, they're real careful. They have people go out ahead of time and uh, really look at the beach and stuff. And as that's their name, number one concern is to keep the kids safe. We always uh, look forward to hearing about, you know, additional plans to keep the sand clean. Additional safety measures the city is looking into is adding more security cameras along the Santa Cruz Wharf and other city properties around Cal Beach. Dan? All right. Thank you very much, Phil. The debris sifted from the beach isn't taken to the dump, or is, I should say, but not before the workers actually make sure that there aren't any syringes in the pile that they've collected.